Welcome back to Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious, and today we're going to be making mini pot pies. Great recipe. But before we get started, I want to tell you about a couple things that are near and dear to my heart. First of all, Trudy, Richard, I hope that you are feeling much better, and I'm really sorry about the fall that you took um, and the burns that you received from your fall. Uh, keep on healing, watching my show. I appreciate your spirit and effort to continue forward no matter what you're going through. Just keep your chin up and smile. And the next item on my list is Box Eki has a wonderful, wonderful giveaway going on. You have to use an entry code. Let me pick up my paper to read it to you. Off of our show, 67584. You'll find it down here. And then you'll click on the link, which is www.boxiki, B O X I K I dot com forward slash gift a thon. And if you click on that link, then use that entry code, you'll be linked in. And of course, if you like Boxiki's page, you're increasing your chances of winning. So let's get started with our recipe. So I'm going to make it an easy way. Got some frozen vegetables that you can microwave or whatever. Got some crescent rolls. Some chicken broth for the gravy that we're going to put around it. Some already cooked chicken breasts. And then of course some cornstarch for the thickener. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the crescent rolls. We're going to start with the buttery flake kind. And I'm using a box eeky, a box eeky pan. Here we go. Box eeky pan. It's kind of cool because it's a metal frame and then you can push out the bottom to get your stuff out once it cools enough. I used it already just to test it out so I know what it's like. I made some cheesecake brownies in it. I mean, they turned out really good. I might have to use that on one of my shows. So I'm going to open these crescent rolls. And of course, these are the crescent rolls, so they've got triangles to make little crescents, but we're not going to split them into crescents. We're going to actually use a pizza cutter and cut them in a square four ways. I'm going to lay them in my little pan and then I'm just going to form it myself. I'm going to try to leave the top with a little crust around the edge so that I can seal the top on top of it. And then it also creates kind of a little barrier to prevent spillage coming out. And just pinch it, pinch it, pinch it. And then we'll just continue to do that to all of them. This is a great recipe. We've been getting tons of snow and now it's raining like cats and dogs. So this is a nice comfort food for staying indoors. So this is the chicken, and it's frozen, find it in the frozen section. Um, I like to be able to see the chicken that I'm eating, so I'm just going to cut it up into semi-smaller pieces without trying to take my fingers off. Here 
here we go. Just put a couple pieces in each one. It's like these are mini pot pies, right? Yeah, you can use any kind of meat you want, or no meat at all. You can just use vegetables. Um, and I also have this mixed vegetables. You can use whatever vegetables or no vegetables if you want. And this has got a mixture of green beans and corn and carrots. I'm just gonna put them in each one. Oops, got some in the burger. That looks pretty, doesn't it? Nice and colorful, halfway healthy. <laughs> now we're going to add the good stuff, which is going to be the gravy mix. Then we got some cornstarch here, that's the thickener. I'm just going to take a tablespoon of that and put it in the measuring cup here. Got some chicken broth. seasoning such as salt and pepper that looks like enough salt pepper yeah that's a good start I might add a little bit of more just to be on the safe side because it's going to bake in the oven and get thicker just going to pour some in each one Okay, so now we're going to make little tops for him. So we need 12 pieces, so little squares. So maybe if I do three, six, nine. Little squares. Turn them into tops. And we're just going to pinch it to the bread that's already there. To make the sill. If there's not holes, poke them. Now that we have them prepared, we're going to stick them in the oven for, I'm going to guess about a half an hour. I'm going to check them. And when they're raised and golden brown and hopefully not making a mess in the oven, then they should be ready. Preheated the oven for 350 by the way. 
All right, let's check them. I think they're about ready. Oh wow, look at that. They look pretty. The nice thing about these box icky pans is how easy they are to use. Because they're silicone, the silicone I can touch with my hand. So I can put it right on my counter. counter. And look at that cute little pot pie. I just pulled it right out of that. It doesn't stick. Let's find out if they turned out. Look at that. There's not much gravy in it because all that gravy is congealed on the inside. Beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous pot pie. I've heard that cornstarch is considered a gluten-free product. So using cornstarch as a thickener is probably a better choice for people who are gluten intolerant. That's pretty damn good. Chicken's nice and cooked all the way through and the vegetables are all soft and tender and that is pretty good. Mmm. Great recipe. Easy to handle for kids. We have a contest that you can enter to win a set of box icky pans and utensils for yourself. All you have to do is go to www box icky which is b-o-x-i-k-i dot com forward slash giftathon now you have to enter this before january 20th you're going to use the code six seven five eight four and of course audience don't forget to like me on facebook twitter instagram wherever i might be my blog spot just like me. Watch my videos. There could be cool, more winning possibilities coming up in the future. And if you are a supplier out there and you'd like to contact me, you can contact me by geniebdelicious at gmail.com and give me your information. I'll give you my P.O. box to send me stuff that you want to put on my show with one of our cute, awesome recipes and highly fattening food, possibly with bacon and jalapeno since it's my favorite. Again, join me next time for another great recipe. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. Bye y'all.